Behind the Scenes comes to you today this March 29th, yes. 2017. It is March. Can you believe no. it's the end yeah. of March, no. right? Holly, I'm in denial. March. I'm in denial. Where, <laughs> la, 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 where la, la, la. is time going? <laughs> okay. Unbelievable. I'm, but spring 2017, yes. we're looking to June 23rd and 24th. She rises. That's what we're talking about. Right here, right now, we're about three months out. We want you to be a part. <laughs> Holly Wagner, I love your guts. Oh, you I are love amazing, you. And I love that you put this on. Yeah. She rises. Where did that even come from? Uh, well, there's a really annoying verse in Proverbs 31 that says, <laughs> She rises while I, it is yet night. I and I'm thinking, No, she doesn't. <laughs> she sleeps really good while it is yet night. But then when I studied it, I realized it doesn't have as much to do with the time of day that you get up, but rather when heartache and disaster and calamity is around, she rises. Wow. And I just think God's looking for a company of she who will rise in the midst of challenge. Certainly our world is at challenge. And so um, we have this desire and heart to put a conference right in the middle of Los Angeles, uh, a conference that places value on the woman and actually gathers all generations. And and that's actually what makes it different is that you've got the 13 year old and the 83 year old woman all in there together. And we're learning and being inspired and really determined to make a difference in the world, being the she that rises. Right. Can he, he's rise? Um, well, he can. You yeah. can come back. Or you can sleep. <laughs> yeah. We got it. <laughs> he's can rise too. Uh, can't you we? Go. Okay. All right. Not at this conference, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why is she rises unique? Okay, women's conference right here in Southern California. That's a little unique because most women's conferences are usually in the middle part of the country, so it's easier for both coasts. This one, why is She Rises? Well, you're right. It's just the fact that it's in the middle of Hollywood. Yeah. And um, for me, that you know, Hollywood and Los Angeles is the uh, pornography producing capital of our nation. And in Hollywood, so many women, their value is about appearance and image. And so I'm trying to be very counter that culture. Mm. And so let's host something that actually places value on the woman yeah. and inspires her to go back to her world and her community and actually bring change. So that's what makes it unique is just certainly where it is. And then the fact that there are so many generations that show up. Yeah. And it's not just for young people. It's not just for moms. It's not just for grandmothers and the ethnicities. It's radically diverse. And, um, and there's just so much passion and energy, and I think it's unique, you know, because we're there. That's right. <laughs> and, you know, what's, what's really special, I think, about it is that Holly and her husband, Phil, have pastored the Oasis for 33 years. 33 wow. years. Right there in the middle of Hollywood. And they have stayed there. They have stuck to it, come hell or high water. Yeah. And so for a, for a grounded... Yeah. A, a grounded ministry yeah. and a grounded, how do I even But we have authority that? in the city. Is, uh, we've been yes. there. You are so, OGs, exactly. as we say on the West Coast. <laughs> yeah, original gangsters. That's me. Okay, that's them. And, and I love that. Yeah. I love that about it because you're, you're um, what's the word? You do have a say there. Yeah. It's like you have... Um, What's established. 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 Yeah. Credibility. Credibility. Yeah. All of those words. All those fun the words. The like words, words. That could, we could have the director feeding us all these words. But the point get is, what minute. we're doing today, uh, as you're watching this, we are about three months out. Yeah. The Dolby Theater becomes one of America's largest churches for a couple of days, right that. in the middle of the summer, June 23rd and 24th. She rises. Okay. So, go register, yes. uh, and that's what we're talking about. Who's speaking this year? So, I thought I might say something. Yes. <laughs> and then, um, You're welcome. Would you please? <laughs> and then Lisa Bevere. Yes. And um, Sarah Jakes Roberts speaking, and Judah and Chelsea Smith. Wow. Beautiful. So, it'll be just a really fun gathering of people and tons of creativity. I think that's also one of the things that makes it unique is just from dance and uh, video and music, just very creative on that platform. And by the way, on that note, since we're a television network, yes. we actually do these things called promos. Yes. So instead of we having to just one. always talk about it, we can Let's actually show you. show you. This is a promo for She Rises. Watch this. The goal is for all of them to become one heart and mind, just as you, Father, are in me, and I in you so they might be one heart and mind with us. Then the world might believe that you, in fact, sent me. 
In love, we are created for wonder, laughter, joy. We're created to be part of a community, a team, family, together. Together we grow. Together we journey. Together we heal. Together we make the world a better place. Together is a big deal to God. She rises together. She Rises is a movement of everyday women of all races and ages who are committed to loving God, loving their communities, loving each other, and courageously pioneering change. Our annual conference will once again be held at the iconic Dolby Theatre in Hollywood. We'll be inspired with great teaching, stirred by creativity, and we will do a lot of laughing. Come be a part of this historic gathering because together we are better. Oh, I love it. I love it. She Rises, Conference 217, Holly Wagner, our guest, all afternoon. <laughs> this is going to go forever. Forever. Okay? I mean, and you know, the thing about uh, this year, the conference, is that She Rises Together. And I, um, that was very intentional for me, I think, in a society that has become very fragmented and people are kind of doing their own things or tr looking or divided. Mm -hmm. And so I'm really trying to gather us, you with your strengths and you with your strengths, let's do this together. Yeah. And so really trying to teach to that point and our creative items will be about that. Just we're, we're stronger together. So right. come be a part of what we're doing. Let me but, ask you, oh, go ahead, baby. Well, LA is kind of shop, fun to shop at. So you might want to just take a couple days, maybe extra at the beginning or at the end of that I conference even if you're flying in. That to say. Oh, we do. <laughs> yeah. Like exactly. downtown it's shopping, a, like the yeah. alley and all that kind of well, stuff. Well, and, and the Dolby right. is right there on Hollywood right. Boulevard, right in the middle of. A lot of good stuff. stuff. A lot of good stuff right there. Yeah, so it's fun. It, it's fun to travel to. Yeah. It is fun. Okay, Holly Wagner uh, is our guest. She is the pastor, uh, along with her husband, of Oasis Church right here in Hollywood, California. Her conference, She Rises, is coming up. Okay, so there's the info on the screen. The date's on the screen. You get it. That's what we're talking about. All right, let me ask you a personal question. Okay. okay. Ready? Um, when, you, when you have you know, endeavored, you've been a senior pastor mm -hmm. in a city for many, many, many years, you're established, the credibility, you're doing a conference, we get all that. <clears throat> and we know the answer to this, but I want the, the people to know, has your life just been all just kind of tiptoe through the tulips and... <laughs> and, and oh, yes. <laughs> How did you know that? <laughs> So I think some of no. the, uh, you know, the 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 road scholar, you know, R O A D yes. road scholar, uh, that you are uh, lends to the credibility. Mm. You're a very vivacious person. The joy of the Lord is our strength. But you've been there and done that, uh, face down in tears. So oh yeah, for sure. A little bit of that. What's some of your story that that? encourages someone that yeah. might look at a conference and say, that's for happy people. It isn't for me. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, yes. I've had certainly the challenges, you know, uh, 11 years ago, I navigated breast cancer and um, I went at the hundreds of doctor's visits and surgeries and pain and, you know, trusting God with that journey. And so I get it. I get, I get the journey that people have of uh, dealing with cancer and sickness. And so that was, then and then just even a few years ago, um, my husband gets diagnosed with lymphoma. And then uh, right when he's recovering from that, and here I am trying to move into the Dolby. So this is the year that we're moving into the Dolby and into that big stage. We're rising. We're rising. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I have to practice what I preach, and I hate yeah. that part. Yeah. Right? It's easier yeah. to preach it. And <laughs> so then, you know, he gets cancer, and then he... The, his immune system was so messed up, then he gets uh, shingles, the worst case, then he can't walk for four months. And, you know, you guys are awesome until you're sick. And then, yeah. Then guys just, uh huh. yeah. Y'all are a piece of work then. Yeah. And, <laughs> so I'm having to love my husband and rise and like, uh, help him with the cancer and all that. And then, then our identity gets stolen and bank, our whole savings account gets stolen. And that, the FBI got involved and nothing came back from that. And then I had to walk my daughter through a heartbreaking thing. And then the people who should have had my back sort of stabbed me in the back. So dealing with betrayal. So it was like one punch after another. So, and still in the midst of that, I had to make decisions to lead. I didn't abdicate my church. I couldn't abdicate leading the conference. And so I know what it is to navigate challenge and heartbreak and be the she that rises. And <laughs> you know... 
that most people would put themselves in one of those categories. So invite those people to your conference. Yes. So listen, if you are in the middle of a challenge, if you're in the middle of a family breakdown, if you're in the middle of a lawsuit, if you're in the middle of a, a divorce or a disease or whatever might be challenging you, can I just ask you to come? Come be a part of a company of women who are determined to rise strong in the midst of challenge. And do you know what I know? Is that you leave here encouraged. You leave here a little more equipped to go back to the world that God's trusted you with and be strong there. So come join us on the journey. Holly is one of the speakers at her own event. Um, the, you know, we, we were there last year. It's an amazing event. We encourage you to go. Holly knows what she's talking about. She's navigated. She's been there and done that and will help you rise. I want to hear from her a little bit. This is from last year. This is She Rises. Holly Wagner, watch this. Cause I She rises in royalty. She knows who she is. You know, Proverbs 45, 9 says, daughters of kings are among your honored women. Do you know, for some of you in here, you have been on this journey with me for years. You understand what it is to be a daughter of the king. And knowing that has changed your life. You are royalty. God is your father. You are a daughter of the king. There is a crown on your head. You are loved and valued regardless of where you are or what you've been doing. Proverbs 31 says your price is far above rubies. Psalm 45 says the king, your God, he's wild for you. And then Hebrews tells us, Hebrews 4 says we can come boldly to the throne of grace so that we can obtain mercy and find grace. Do you know why you can come boldly before his throne and why you receive mercy and grace? Because you're his daughter. You are royalty. You belong in the throne room of your God. I love that. Beautiful. The She Rises Conference is all about rising, right? Yeah, okay. all about it. Out of what? What do they rise out from? Well, whatever, right? So we're all in different situations. So again, whether it's... Uh, you know, challenge or even a tough situation at work. And, and listen, if you're not in the middle of a challenge right now, then your turn is next week. Yeah. Got it. Right? Because wouldn't it be great if life was mountaintop, 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 tulip, 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 <laughs> heaven. <laughs> right? Yeah. But it isn't. With chocolate bars in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Fudge all the way. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it isn't. And so there are, uh, all of us have moments in the day and weeks in a month and months in a year when we have to make that decision. And honestly, you just want to be with people who can help you do that. Because I find if you're not, then you surround yourself with people that just keep you down. Right. And um, this is such a great time to laugh. You'll laugh, I promise you. You know, I don't want to, to forget also, you know, the um, executives amongst our viewing audience. Yes. And those that just need a fresh word, a fresh uh, enthusiasm for what they're doing. You know, the, certainly there will be many viewing this that would think of a conference as, uh, you know, a gas station. I got to fill my tank up. But there are many that that's not the issue that they're facing. They're, they're facing an expansion of their business. Right. They're, they're facing an expansion. They're, they're looking for the right investment banker uh, to, and, and the idea that getting together in a group and, and a bunch of ladies that are rising, that a word could come, a connection could come. So this isn't, you know, uh, you're talking Southern California and there will be executives from this and that. And, and this, yeah. this, this is it right in the middle of the vacation time and your family can come. And there's this thing called Disneyland right down the road. And so the idea of doing a women's conference in Southern California, along with about the 8 million tourists that visit Southern California for other reasons, uh, this can be your reason. And, and I know that uh, every economic scale will be there, every reason yeah. that could exist will be there, but I know that you'll all rise. And, and there's just a, and Holly just knows how to do this, by the way. And so 
we're sitting here, uh, this conference will eventually make its way onto television and certainly the content of this conference is globally impacting. But for those that are hearing now, three months out from the event, we just know that there's no way, uh, unless you get there, uh, is that, you know, that group and, and that group anointing and all of the fellowship, we saw everyone and how it worked last year and we are certainly endorsing and thrilled that TBN is helping in a little way to help promote this event and helping get some of the cameras there. Uh, but this is all about uh, She Rises, this is all about you and your team, Holly. Um, you know, I'm sure you have one or two helpers that kind of help you. Yeah, <laughs> just a few. <laughs> so uh, if you just tuned in, um, we are here. Uh, this is March 29th, and we're talking with Holly Wagner right here, right now, 2017, about She Rises. What's a good memory? What, 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 what's a story or two from last year, this beautiful venue, this beautiful place, just something that you can think of uh, that you heard about your own conference that would uh, encourage somebody to come? Uh, there are, the, the interesting thing is what you've mentioned, that just the diversity of people are there. So you've got someone who's in a real hurting situation and someone leading a company or yeah. acting in a series. Or, yeah. mm -hmm. So you have the real diverse audience. So last year there was a girl who was sitting up in one of the balconies and she just, at the end of the first night, she just started crying and this beautiful woman in her mid thirties and one of our volunteers at the end just kind of went over and patted her and she looked at her and the girl that was crying and she goes, I don't know what to do now. She goes, I know I need to get my life right with God. I don't know what to do. She said, I, I, make, I make well into the six figure income. And so the girl's like patting her and she goes, she goes I sell cocaine. Oh dear. Now what do I do? So here's this girl who had a serious encounter with God and wants to change everything. Wow. So we kind of walked her through that. So there's that girl. And then there's a, a woman who was pastoring a church and with her husband and they've been doing it for a while and she was about to quit. She goes, I was about to just walk away, tell him he could do this. I didn't, and I got, I felt like I got wind in my sails. Wow. Right? And then there's um, another girl who was just graduating from university and stepping into uh, uh, just a career and was just doubting her ability. She was getting this huge job and she just thought, I can do this. So I just feel like it hits people right. where, it, they need. It, where they need. Mm -hmm. And so there's something that happens when the daughters of the king gather together. We are gatherers, honestly, more than the men are. We're gatherers. We love to sure. gather. And something happens. It's, I, I, there's a father and his daughters. And there's just something happens that happens no other way. And I feel like God meets us when we set aside time yeah. to come. And so I've just seen it happen for, you know, almost 20 years ago I've been doing this and seeing God do this in people's lives. It's so exciting to me. He's very faithful. Yeah. Yes, he is. And you know, I love, I love the venue because, you know, you think you're just stepping into those places where all those people come for the Oscars and for the Academy Awards and all that. You know, and I think about that scripture, where can, you, where can I go from the presence of the Lord? There's nowhere. So the presence of the Lord is in that building, you know, and just to saturate with worship and, mm -hmm. and the good that comes out of right there. They say that as um, California goes, so goes the country. So getting the women to rise there in Hollywood, yeah. I think is a fabulous place to um, touch the nation yeah. of the world. So no matter where you are, come be with us. June 23rd and 24th, right there in Hollywood, California. Judah Smith and Chelsea mm -hmm. are coming. Mm -hmm. So okay, I don't want to fail to talk about your book, Find Your Brave. Oh, okay. okay. Amazing book. Holly wrote last year. In fact, it came out right at yeah. She Rises yeah. last year. Fabulous book. Talks about her, um, what she just spoke about a while ago, her testimony of she has been through the mud and has survived. And um, that's what we all love to hear. We love to hear... Right. Overcomers talk. Yes. I love to hear someone who's been through some stuff and has survived and still has the joy of the Lord yep. and alive and well and taken territory. And that's who you are on the inside. And I love you. Okay, so dearly. you said Judah. Uh, he's amazing. Yeah, you were going to ask a question about Judah. I was. Yeah, you said, so Judah Smith. And then you said something else. Isn't he great? <laughs> 
Okay. I love Actually, you to smell. No, I, yeah, I'm really Talk on. about the, the people yeah, that, Lisa. that are yeah. coming. The, Just the talk about with, them a little bit. The thing for me is that I uh, am not really interested in having an event where you have a bunch of professional speakers. I'm not really interested in that. Mm -hmm. So what I want to do is have people on the platform that I actually have a relationship with yeah. because I feel like then it creates a strength and a family. So I have known Judah and Chelsea since a long time. Judah was just a youth pastor in his dad's church. So yeah. I've known him a long time. He was like a punk when I first met him, right? <laughs> a long time ago. And so I just, I love him and I love the message on his life and his heart. And um, he's a real deal guy. And then Lisa Bevere and I are, have been friends for decades. Yes. And uh, we call and hash out a bunch of things with each other, challenges that we see on the planet and we vent to each other. And uh, then Sarah Jakes uh, Roberts and I have become new friends. So we've been friends for a couple of years. She now pastors a church with her husband in Los Angeles. And so I love that she is in town and we just actually had coffee the other day. So, so Sarah Jakes is related maybe to that guy that some people have heard about T.D. Jakes. Yeah, is the that, little yeah. unknown yeah. The yeah. Dallas the, guy, yeah. whatever. The bishop. got it. Bishop. <laughs> We ran, in, we ran into him in a hotel a couple of days ago down in, in Florida, and uh, and there we are. So we have the Osteens and T.D. Jakes uh, standing there. It was like a TV and rally in the in the <laughs> in the lobby of this thing. Okay, um, the is there a theme to what are have you written your message yet? Um, well, the outline thematically. Let's say that. Yeah. So thematically, yeah. where are you headed with your? Uh, conference she rises well it's it's about she rises together so I'm really talking about what is it that separates us from people and what are what the, is that what, what separates us from well, people? You, what is it that separates people right opinion, so opinion right or offense mm -hmm. or fear right we we it's hard to be connected to someone when there's fear or comparison so all the things that would separate us from people and then what is it that unites us Smell sometimes. Yeah, yeah that's too. deodorant. The lack yeah. of deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, couple of minutes left. Uh, what I want to do, I want to go to uh, the She Rises Conference promo 2017. Uh, this will tell you a little bit more about this conference. Watch this. The goal is for all of them to become one heart and mind, just as you, Father, are in me and I in you so there might be one heart and mind with us. Then the world might believe that you, in fact, sent me. In love, we are created for wonder, laughter, joy. We're created to be part of a community, a team, family, together. Together we grow. Together we journey. Together we heal. Together we make the world a better place. Together is a big deal to God. She rises together. She Rises is a movement of everyday women of all races and ages who are committed to loving God, loving their communities, loving each other, and courageously pioneering change. Our annual conference will once again be held at the iconic Dolby Theatre in Hollywood. We'll be inspired with great teaching, stirred by creativity, and we will do a lot of laughing. Come be a part of this historic gathering because together we are better. Yeah, because together we are better. Uh, so come be a part of what we're doing right here in the middle of Hollywood. You know you want to come. So just make plans to be on the journey with us. Grab a friend. It's Life's always better with a friend. And uh, bring her. Something will happen, I promise you. There will be something that happens in your life, some encouragement, something that happens when you come be a part of this. So come join the journey and be a part of what God's doing with his daughters right here. Yeah. Yay. And I'm going to bring Holly. Okay. <laughs> I'll bring yeah. you. We're Lori. going. <laughs> She's going to be there for sure. Um, what we, uh, in case you didn't um, get to see the entirety of this broadcast, uh, we're just wanting to make sure that you know that She Rises, the kind of the SoCal ladies conference, and not a lot of them really happen. Not like, you know, big national ones like not this. In that, not, not in LA. Not in LA. Because they're, it, costs a lot of money to have a conference in LA. Yeah. You know, people don't want to, it's trickier than yeah. go other places. It's very much a missions field. Yes, it? it is. It's easier it's in really Dallas. Easy. Yes, okay. it is. But this is the West Coast Come version. Come on. Thank you. Uh, All the brave Holly, people. Uh, <laughs> Wagner and her uh, husband, Philip, uh, long, long, long time friends of ours. Our kids went to the same school when they were little bitty guys. Mm -hmm. So we would see each other in our we robes so and diverse. coffee and our hair was down in our face. Your was, hair was you know, in your face. Yeah. <laughs> and so basically, 
Um, it was messed up. <laughs> we are uh, going to be there. The content of this will make its way to the airwaves globally if you're watching this. It will be uh, eventually in India, uh, Africa, Indonesia, all the different places going to get to see this great content. But for those that can come, that is where the corporate anointing of getting together and being a part of this great event uh, is so significant. And so, uh, Holly, thank you for what you do. No, oh, I love you guys. Appreciate last, you very last much. Last word is yours. That's all you ever want is the last <laughs> word. Yes. It's Plus. When you're in the building, every, there's a really amazing gift that we're giving to everybody, and I'm so excited about this year's gift. So. And see, wow. she didn't tell anybody. I love it. <laughs> She'll about it. tell me later. <laughs> I, won't, we'll I won't say it. Try it out of her. <laughs> okay. Uh, she rises. It's right there in uh, the Dolby Theater, middle okay? of Hollywood. And uh, and the the idea that you come together, you're a part of it, you're together. Rise together this year, 2017. Great. Go to the website and figure it out. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.